Okie dokie. Hi, everybody. And back on again. And time for some pinball. Um, but yeah, it's be, it's pretty much going to be a rinse and repeat of yesterday. Um, just the old dream and a nightmare thing that I've been having for the past few days. Um, not as bad, but it was still there. I lay down for an evening nap and I lay down for an evening nap and it just kicked into high gear. Oh, running the movies and all that, so... Um, and, uh... I totally forgot what I was gonna say about that, but I don't... I I don't really feel like racking my brain about it right now, but yeah, it just... It really kicked into high gear when I laid down for my evening nap, you know, just before I get my stream going. So, needless to say, I'm a little bit... a little bit out of it. So, like has been going on, um, don't be surprised if I end up killing the stream, like, like, towards the end when I'm just, when I'm just, like, just, you know, too tuckered out. Anyway, um, this is one of those days where there were some things I wanted to talk about, but the moment I, the moment I clicked the start stream button, I, everything just disappeared, so, um, but, Otherwise, uh, for the session, it's going to be the usual stuff. Uh, FX3 um, might do a little bit of matchups. I don't know, depending on the situation. Um, doing tourneys. Um, after that, then doing some randos. Um, then after all that, oh, and it's, uh, it's 9 p.m. right now, so I'd say probably roughly midnight. Um, I'll probably end up about switching over to Pinball Arcade, uh, playing that for probably a couple hours. Unless I totally suck ass. Uh, that being the case, then I'll go ahead and switch over to Zachariah, where my pinball skills don't matter as much. So, so yeah. Oh, 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 Let me back up. Um, like usual, I do eat and drink when streaming. So, like usual, starting off with some cottage cheese. Actually, let me look at something here real quick. Bright light. Okay. Okay, I gotta wait a second on this. Whoa, the bitrate dropped. Yeah, I'm looking at the stream graph right now. It started normal, but then it just took a nosedive. Well, OBS says everything's A-OK. -okay, so. Okay, and that is something else, though. That was that was one thing. Um, yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty hot here today. It was around 90 degrees. That was the other reason. That was the other. That was the other reason why um sleeping was a bit of a struggle today. It's just I have no AC in my uh, in my bedroom. So sometimes waking up in a sweat. I mean, not as. I've had it's it's been worse, but still just enough to make you. You know, wake me up, you know, that kind of thing, and then, so, but what I'm getting at is, um, when I got up, it was, um, it was 82 degrees in here, it's, uh, 79 now, so what that means is, I'm gonna have to have the AC on a good chunk of the time, just to, just to make it more hospitable in here, and also, gotta play wirelessly. And also, also, gotta put my fan on the floor. Yeah, this week's matchup is about to end. 
So. Not gonna bother with that. Oh, let's check out the tourneys. All right, I gotta. I gotta do something real quick. Bright light. Set a bunch of reminders for myself. And I'll let that one go out of there. Okay. Well, number one took, um, you basically have to complete modes on this table. If you're using score boost, you can get as much as, uh, 50 mil. So, we've all done it at least once. The number one guy probably did it, probably uh, completed, completed two modes. Suck balls on this one. But otherwise, just like the last tournament, this is a pretty good one here. All the scores are fairly close. You want to get um I've said it before in other streams you want to keep making the orbit shot over and over and over as many times as you can eventually you'll be able to upgrade the bumpers and then that's where you are that's where you want to start shooting your shots the problem is is getting there turn your heads I think that's what the top three did. Maybe number four. Well, I guess that's it. Well, let's see how mine's doing. So, I'm guessing the top two, they made it to a uh, gazillion multi-ball and managed to keep it. And then, um... sussy side but on this table here keep hitting the spinner the back of the table you'll see these bounty hunters and all these other people moving along like this belt try to position one of them right in the middle of the table then um you'll have a you'll have a lit shot right in the middle of the table this little alley shoot that alley you'll get a million points but doing that uh 12 or 13 times as well as trying to do it in under a, under a minute 
Yeah, a little bit on the sussy side. Because you don't, you don't really get much points anywhere else. So... On here, um, get a get multi ball, get multi ball. You have to make the required flashing shots, that's where you get a lot of your score from. Actually, let me. Flashing lock shots, one way to get multi ball, but you gotta make a lot of them though. Yeah, and you have to make all three of them, and the one on the right is a major bitch to get, so. Um, I think the more uh, you don't want to start this mode right away or you don't yeah you don't want to start the uh, you don't want to start the bombshell fight right away you want to make as many different uh, required shots as you can ball in there and then you, you shoot a second ball up in the same spot and that'll uh, trigger another multi ball make both ramps like three or four times easier said than done Here, hit the bumpers a bunch of times. It's more than just a couple, by the way. Yeah. So yeah, but this is this is pretty much the meat of the table right here. Try to get as many uh, heroines as possible first, and then start the fight with Bombshell. You don't want the video mode, unless you're uh, unless you're really good at moving the staff around. I'm not. Yeah. The rest don't matter. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much what you have to do on here. And you have, basically have to do it all in under a minute. do what I did yesterday. Just more of it. But 
It's a pretty good tournament so far. No unscrupulous activity so far. I can't believe I actually did this one. Yeah, and I said this one here really isn't that suited for a survival mode. Kind of tell by the scores. I mean, number two is just 39 mil. He probably just um starting and completing modes. Um, Robon, I think he just uh one of the modes on this table is called Surrounded. It's a it's a playfield mini game, sort of kind of video mode. You just go around picking up uh, Reese's pieces. I uh, have some yeah, have some score boost handy, boost your scores. I'm guessing that's what he did. Keep uh, keep starting and completing uh, surrounded modes. Yeah, I suck balls on this one. And to this day, I really don't know what you're supposed to be doing on here. There really is... There really is no... No good, reliable way of getting getting uh getting good scores on this. Maybe completing modes. I know the uh the beat the cards mode that they have on the lower level. That's an ass mode right there. I mean, you don't get shit for time on it. I'm guessing uh, Coma Omnivore probably pretty much just did everything that you're supposed to do on the table. Again, I don't... Let's go back here. Yeah, they're looking at this. There really isn't much to do on this table. Yeah, and this is something else, too. It's especially brutal if you're playing on a normal mode, a non time mode. Lighting kickbacks on here is a major pain in the ass. Same with, um, same with Hulk. And there's something else too. You you pretty much need some pretty you need some pretty quick reflexes to hit the shot here with this flipper. Cause the ball goes through here and down here pretty fast and you don't you have next to no visibility right here. The ball just basically plays just flies right on the flipper. The most you can hold for is to change the camera view, which I, I can't do that. I have to leave it at one. Too disorienting. Shell game. Uh, no. 
This multi ball here actually takes a while to get to. Yeah, I think I've done this before, but it's very difficult to do on a time mode. Okay, I gotta I gotta type something down. Yeah, this is tough to do in a time mode because there's a long cutscene on this and the, the clock continues to tick. It continues to tick down during that cutscene, which is bullshit. So, yeah. give this I might give Pasha another go on the tournament or in this tournament here yeah two million on normal I'm pretty sure I can do better than that uh, this one on the other hand 63 Otherwise, this is a good tournament. All the scores are fairly close, so everybody there is doing something that I'm not. Probably most importantly, on a table like this, they're all uh, they're all avoiding the shot eater. So, so once again, I want to show that. This is the shot eater right here. It's no matter how hard I try, I almost always guess I almost always land the ball in here. So I'm guessing the, uh, all the other players that are getting a really good score, they're somehow able to avoid this. So, this is one of those where uh, you want to complete all the modes first, then you want to land the ball in here. You want to have as many madnesses going as possible. That's where uh, you get more uh, points for jackpots and stuff. And double that if you have the uh, the multi-ball bump. I think I talked about this one yesterday. I want to say he managed to stay up in the bumpers. I know you can get a good score just by up, just being up there in the bumpers alone, trying to get it, stay up there as long as you can. And then using a score boost when the ball falls out. Uh, okay. Borderline suspicious on this. Again, I know... Uh, I know how you I know how you get a good score but uh getting these two on one single ball with one single attempt 
Yeah, kind of sussy on these. Turn your head. explain what to do on this table it's all about uh it's all about starting the uh, bumper mode and just getting as much as you can out of the bumpers use score boost at the right time and jack kind of has the right idea for this tournament get multi-ball um if you can't do that you're pretty much dead in the water and then I think there's maybe one shot eater at the far right. Um, the ball comes out of there a lot, but uh, you don't want to you don't want to shoot the ball back in there. But pretty good tournament though. I mean, again, it's about uh getting multi ball and just hitting the uh hitting the trap door. Set her back. Okay. Okay, so Pasha. Skill shot. The caravan's journey has begun. The caravan arrived to a small town. The compass leads you to the next town. The lamp is fully charged with magic. Out to a bad start. The caravan arrived to a small town. Lamp deck. Oh, that's gonna go down the middle instead.
Tickle Tales has closed. Better luck next time. The magic of true love protects you. Wet. Skill shot. The compass leads you to the next town. Shoot the guard. Oh, yeah. Bullshit mode right there. The caravan arrived to a small town. Cell phone's trying to shut off on me. Just tilt the shit. Oh, a little better. Combos don't matter much on this table.
Yeah, you do want the ball in the bumpers. Come on, I, do something. Eventually, it'll trigger a mode like that. Hit the white target. Got it. I gotta get the ball in the right flipper. There we go. I'm not gonna make that one. So, yeah. No. Nope. Nope. Shot slip. Not gonna hit. Eater. So, yeah. So much for this mode. So much for that. Blew it. In case you don't know, you blew it. So, I want only a chance to get a shit ton of points. I always let myself down. gotten two mil out of that so Nobody kills the runt, but so much for that thought it would go the distance but nope gonna make the shots when they mattered I will let you down I will make you hurt I mean I took first but the, but 49 mil, that is easily beatable. I've done way better than this. Without my crutches. Really, that should be off. Combo and distance. You don't want the ball and the bumpers on this table, especially on a time mode. You don't get shit for points. Even with the uh, bumper score bonus, that don't help much.
I need it elsewhere. Watch your back. We need the others. Quick, get to Avengers Tower. Oh. Shots lit, not gonna hit. Your struggle is futile. Jackpot. Thor's might is on your side. Jackpot. What? Jackpot. What the hell am I seeing? Jackpot. Jackpot in. Jackpot. Your struggle is futile. Jackpot increased. Jackpot. Your victory here means nothing. Thor will soon depart. What the hell was that? It seemed like black shit shooting off from the bottom of the table. your back. It's gonna be pretty fucking embarrassing if I can't beat the target score. I mean, I mean, it was only like, what, 100k? Went right by me. in the out lane over there. Hey, I broke a mill. How about that? An extra ball is available in the tower. We need the others. Quick. Get to Avengers Tower! Extra ball collected. Ball locked. Thor's might is on your side. The God of Thunder favors you. Went right by me. your own. So, 
Measly three mil. So, it should also be mentioned too that I'm playing wirelessly, we need the which means I gotta deal with uh, input lag. So, my flips are coming a split second too late. No more to protect the moon. Yeah, so. That's just a shitty play right there. Watch your back. Careful. I just can't seem to hit anything. Only 400k. Thor's might is on your side. Yeah, pretty embarrassing. Okay, there we go. We got it. Avengers, assemble! Hurry up! Nope. You have to do better than that. I know. Oh, no shit. Thor will soon depart. You are on your own. Nope. Good for. So. Yeah, I suck fucking ass in that. Here, I'm gonna go back. You can probably see this high score 125 mil challenges survival I made it to 80 million so yeah I can I have done good on this table so Okay, I gotta, I gotta do something real quick. I'll be back.
Yeah, they're all disabled. You need to replace a uh, bumper bonus with the uh, distance. That's right. We can't be everywhere at once, but with this technology, we can end conflicts before they even start. Jackpot increased. Went right by me. Jackpot increased. Keep it up. You're almost there. Looking good. That's it. Get out of here. I don't need you for that anymore. I know. I suck. seconds just to get the ball and it keeps getting stuck in the Thor hole shot eater so yeah don't bother suck fucking donkey balls in that tournament The goal is to keep smacking the uh, captive ball in the center of the table or the, the, names the middle Lando of the table. Calvizia. Eventually, they'll get multi -ball. Allow me to demonstrate my skill. Uh, just demonstrating exactly what not to do in situations like this. Oh.
This certainly won't help matters. Nor will the ball going in the alt lane. L3. Fuck. You might want to try and stop the Locked it up. Smashing themselves. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to light up all the in and out lanes on the right side. They aren't listening, L3. Maybe we should just get going and leave them to it. Come on, L3. You did all you could. But we need to get moving. Smuggler? Such a small word. I'm more of a galactic... Gotta love it. Straight down the middle. Not so much for that. Fun while it lasted. Let's get that safely stowed away. Locked it up. Oh, that would have been a ball shot. That would have been a smuggler shot. There goes one. Lamp deck. That earned me a tiny little sun. But let's get back. That would have been in multi ball anyway. We'll be Stand there. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that was input lag. It should have gone. Uh, yeah, there. Oh, it didn't do much. I did very well.
close. This is one. Okay, I guess my better judgment. Normally, I don't like playing tables that have copyrighted music, but... Pickets are kind of slim right now, so... So, yeah. Gotta be fucking quiet. Skill shot. Hurry up. Oh, there goes one. Ball saved. Straight down the bucket middle. Hey, it's Zachariah bullshit. That's what I'm not gonna hit. Told ya. Guess I shouldn't have bothered with this table. Multiplier increased. My combo. That's fine. Ball is gonna go in the out lane anyway, and looks like it's gonna be end of the line for me. Or no one else will. Lamp dick. Arrogant. Diminishes wisdom. Is that as though it was a huge number or something? Nope. Come on. So, yeah, I guess now would be a good time to not hit anything. Basically, end of the table right here. Watch out! 
And tilting doesn't end the mode, so guess what? So yeah. Quickly, move the ship to the left. Well, if the shot's lit, I'm not gonna hit. Especially when the ball goes straight to the out lane. I'll go straight to the out lane. Like fuck, man, that's like Zachariah all over again. Watch out! Hurry up! Move the ship to the right. Shots lit. Not gonna hit. Watch out! Move the ship to the center. Lamp, Dick. Matter. Paul needs to get out of the bumpers and goes to the out lane anyway. Ball saved. Nope. Oh, Joe ain't got no score boost. Hurry up. Move the ship to the right. Quickly. Oh, the just the barely. Move the ship to the center. Finally, Great leaders inspire greatness in others. Liberation, hurry up! Watch out! Ball locked. Watch what? out! Oh, there goes my hurry up. Just barely. Hurry up, ended. Heroes are made by the times. Cheers. is ready to receive you. You don't want that. Balance is found in the one who faces his guilt. Remember that mode I just did? Yeah. You don't want to start a mode on this table. Lock is lit. And already I fucked it up. I don't even know what to... That one, I guess? It doesn't matter. They all suck. I have to protect the DNA chamber. I was beginning to think my... Oh, luckily the mode end, or luckily the, um, tell it, whatever. Oh, I'd kind of like to know what rank I got. Probably last place, but. Oh, fourth. Oh, 
Ah, I guess since we're doing our Star Wars tables. Oh, never mind, never mind. Oh, they're all disabled. Without my crutches. Yeah, ah, uh, highly suspicious on this one. Three hundred and eight million on one ball with only five attempts, and everything here disabled or. Upgrades are disabled. Yeah. Definitely gonna need to see a replay on that one. here um, so nobody's on right now so I guess I'll pick my own Sure. Yeah, I got a burn on that table. I couldn't do uh, I couldn't do shaman with the wireless controllers, so that one's out of the question. Wish I had a random select on this.
I guess we'll go with survival. Um, no, wait a minute. The classic, or copyrighted music. I totally forgot. No, wait a minute. I think it's this one here that actually does have music on it. Starting to get groggy. Land the ball oh, in the, the nest. nest. Yeah, starting to get groggy too. I love it. Are you your hands and you have butter fingers? Hey, Dr. Greg, you've heard, you heard of Chaos Theory? Single target score. Not one target score. I mean, fucking embarrassing. Shot eater. Shot eater. Doctor, you've heard of you've heard of chaos theory? Oops. Lamp dick. Shot eater. Shot eater. Sight. God damn. Right, I guess I won't be going over there. No, 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 no. I don't think you're giving us our due credit. So yeah, I think the way things are going right now, I might just go straight to Zachariah. Like skip Pinball Arcade entirely. The video mode is lit. Land the ball in the nest. Skill shot. A DNA strand like me is a blueprint for building a living thing. The fungus multipliers are increased. Combo. I'm alive, 
knives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? Yes, I do. They remember. Oh, nice to know I'm doing something right. Magna save stacked. Good. Of course I'm not going to hit it. The shot's lit. Dodge oh, up. Shot eater. Yo, yeah. Oh. Hurry. Oh. Better than the previous attempts. Just gonna call it good on that, so. Basically, I'm still in first. God, I can actually turn the AC off. Welcome to the Sorcerer's Lair. Lamp deck. Don't be afraid. Shit, I think there are a limited Do amount of attempts on this. Oh, combo for Joe. Input lag. Splendid. Magnificent. Lamp deck. Beatable though. 
Somebody will probably come along and get a score of like 1.7 billion or something like that on one ball. But. <sighs> okay, so since I, for the most part, sucked ass in the tournaments. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch right on over to Randos. Well, Scott, you may keep the suit, but in return, I have a job for you. Missed it. That's it. Input lag. those hypersensitive slingshots. You can just breathe on them and they go off. Double flipper, bitch. on the right. Ah, clumsy. Yes, indeedy. Watch Walked out. it up. One more so, time. Some shitty play. Washington to lobby against the Superhuman Registration Act. It was coming anyway. I always thought registration was inevitable. Oh, input I lag. Tried to delay it, but after Stanford, there was just no stopping it. So, 
table is pretty much all about that right ramp. Vision has joined the pro registration side. Joe, gonna be a short one. Incoming hit. Today in Stamford, Connecticut, a violent clash between superheroes and supervillains near an elementary school resulted in a monstrous explosion. Oh, bullshit. Today in Stamford, Connecticut, a violent clash between superheroes and supervillains near an elementary school resulted in a monstrous a explosion. The recent call for superhuman registration has reached an All right, no point. Today in Stamford, Connecticut, a violent clash between superheroes and supervillains I have it. near an elementary school resulted in a I'm monstrous a explosion. The recent call for superhuman registration has reached an all-time high. Yeah, no ball save apparently. So today in Last just skip it, just skip it. For as long as anyone can remember, registration takes away any freedom we might have, any autonomy. Heroes didn't cause what happened at Stamford, Tony. Villains did. You think I don't know that? Registration won't stop every tragedy, Steve. But people in our position need accountability. I wish it didn't have to be this way. That ain't gonna happen. So. The Sentry now supports superhuman registration. underground movement come on soldier don't let me what happened game bug benjamin grimm also known as the thing has left the fantastic four and the country after an epic battle among heroes it's all insanity out there and i don't want no part of it families torn apart old friends fighting one another Stop resisting the registration act and help me change things from within. Within what? A cell? Because whether or not you can see the bars, that's where we'd all be. Just barely. Yeah, that just kind of meandered on in there. Can we speed this along, please? I mean, no. I'm trying to get the ball on the right flipper. Yeah. Right, that's right. If 
you believe it, you stand up for it. Well, one's supposed to do that. Scarbo's Steve, but he went too far. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Sure. What? You have Surprisingly, I made it this far. This one today instead. I already did this one too. Oh, hey, Babs. pretty bad right now. It's pretty decent. Yeah, like I said a few minutes ago, this is um uh, having a pretty bad time right now. Yeah, so I wasn't even gonna bother. I did maybe a few tournaments and then just called it off. Um, uh, doing randos right now, but um, we're probably gonna be going over in a pinball arcade here fairly soon.
fortification Input lag. Excalibur. Ah, shots are lit. None are going to get hit. Lamp deck, there we go. Ah, oh, that completed the mode. I didn't know that. I know I've done better on this. Yeah. It's got to be a short version or short mode or something. Yeah, football. Destroyed. I'm the best there is in what I do. But what I do best is very nice. Restart it, restart it. Spending too much time uh, fixing the camera. Running protocol. Destroy. I'm the best there is at what I do. Oh. But what I do best is very nice. There's a time for scrapping and a time for being seen. Either way, Wolverine's the best there is. Ninja. Time is up. You are the unworthy opponent, Gaiji. There's a time for scrapping and a time for being seen. Either way, Wolverine. All right, aim for the uh, flashing white target. Nope, and that ain't it. Shot eater. So, clock's ticking. Focus. Nope, too late. Too late. So. Fantastic Four. 
Here I come! Get out of my way! Keep it up! That was hot! Let's see some more of that! Gotta be able to make the right ramp. Nope. Dick that one. Easy, easy. Whoops. Oh, no. Now you're going to be hearing this all the way through. Limp Dick. Can't easy, mix my combos. Easy. Bad design on the uh, upper ramp there. If you can't get the ball all the way up the ramp, it just kind of gets stuck. Like it, it, it shouldn't be doing that. If it's not gonna go all the way up, then it needs to go all the way back down right away and not bobble around in there. Fantastic Four. Here we go, gentlemen and ladies. Keep it up. Trick shot. Nice. Sweet. All right. Locked it up. Follow me. Surprised to see me, Susan. Escape from doom. Hey, nice shot! My force field is getting stronger. Keep it up, Susan. Bat. Keep it up. Oh, what up all the way? Such an amusing oh, bat prop. Easy, easy. the other problem if you um if you get the ball in that thing hole they could just stand there and, and just stand there and do nothing for several seconds before he pops the ball up and then slaps it on its way so not very suitable for a time mode before they even start. Careful. Looking good. That's it. Get out of here. I don't need you to mess with me. We need 
the others. Quick, get to Avengers Tower. Nothing lasts forever. Can we end it, please? Oh. Shot. Yeah, that's a rare one. Careful. Nothing lasts forever. Depending on what this one is. Okay, we got a light. Oh, hey Jay. So, still having problems with your original account, huh? Right by me. Yeah, the tooth factor crap. Watch for that. It's 
like the ball's fucking coated with Teflon or something. Oh, fun while it lasted. Um, for the mo for the most part, Jay, just uh, burnout. I know with gems, uh, me and like some other game veterans, and I'm sure this could probably apply to other games as well. We don't like the direction the game is going. It just they're just uh, doing stuff on they're doing stuff on that game that I just don't care for. If you were around back when I was uh, streaming gems, I know I'd, I'd probably spend almost like two hours just in PvP. Well, they turn PvP into shit now. I don't, I don't care to do, I don't care to do it anymore. Um, I like the way they used to have it, but they decided to go ahead and you know, just do different stuff to it, stuff that I don't care for. So I have less of a reason to play it. Um, I know on there, just, I pretty much get in and get out just long enough to do the dailies. And then, you know, maybe a little bit of PvP or something, but that's it. And, uh, it's not, a. Uh, it's at a point where, especially that game there, it's not even worth streaming anymore, because I'm on maybe tops an hour and a half. And then as far as I, as far as like other games go, um, overall, I think it all hinges down to just my computer. I don't have the, I don't have the computer for, uh, I don't have the, my computer isn't good enough to handle uh, most other games, especially the modern ones. Not that I'd actually want to do the modern ones or anything.
And uh, there's a, there's um, I might have said this in other streams too. Actually, let me um. But I might have said this in other streams too, but uh, probably the the big reason that I'm streaming basically exclusively pinball these days, um, I had what I call the Forrest Gump moment. You know that, you know that scene in Forrest Gump where he's just kind of sitting on the porch, just thinking of all thinking of all the fucked up stuff that's happened in his life, and then just all of a sudden he gets up and he just just starts running, running, you know, running cross country, running, you know, all around America and stuff. That, that's me with pinball. It seems to be the, um, it's, it's probably, it's not my all time favorite genre, but it's, um, it's second only to RPGs in general. So I'm just, I'm at a point where I'm pretty much burnt out on everything else. I can't really bring myself around to play pretty much any other RPG game. I mean, the few times I've actually tried, it's just, oh, I played this kind of game before. Oh, this looks like, or this looks like Darkest Dungeon. Oh, uh, oh, this game here, it looks like Final Fantasy Tactics. So I'm, I'm at that point where it just, nothing really excites me anymore. And then, despite, uh, so, I'm pretty much here to stay, I'm, uh, as far as pinball goes, I'm pretty much here to stay, unless I change my mind, which I don't see happening anytime soon, because pinball, you almost never get the same game twice. See, it just... More of a, again, despite my, you know, despite me getting frustrated and stuff. Gems of War is kind of like that, except it's way too heavy on the RNG. So, in that context there, I would much rather, um, you know, as far as like, you know, losing, you know, losing games, losing matches and stuff like that, at least it's basically, it's on me, or I would rather it be on me because I missed a shot or because because of a bad, you know, or a poorly timed nudge, that thing. Basically, you know, doing good or bad is all on me. A game like Gems of War, again, a good chunk of that is like just RNG. It's just something I have no control over. RPGs generally have that though. They have a really strong RNG component, a lot of randomness, a lot of percentage chance. You know, a good chunk of the, those games are based on a uh, based on percentage chances, and I'm pretty sure you're kind of like that with racing as well. It kind of strikes me as that as well. You just winning and losing is pretty much all on you. There's hardly any uh, randomness at all. And I, and I guess uh, to talk fighting games as well. Again, I don't, for the most part, I don't really have a computer, or my computer can't really handle most other uh, fighting games, especially the modern ones. I mean, hell, and that, and that also assumes that uh, that also assumes that they don't crash on my computer. Even uh, Pinball FX3, that still crashes from time to time. I mean, I, that, that's what I was wanting to say. And most, uh, fighting games, most, uh, most of the modern fighting games are where all the people are at. My, uh, my favorite fighting games are fucking dead. 
like nobody plays them. Uh, footsies. My uh, my all-time favorite, my all-time favorite 2D fighter. No one plays it. The most you could hope for is to go on Discord or something. But even then, the Discord is pretty much dead on that. Um, Mega Knockdown. Kind of the same thing too. Although, that's what I was wanting to say. Going on Discord, it feels like. It feels like I'm setting up an appointment, which doesn't feel right. I, I kind of like the randomness. It's one of the reasons why I, when I'm streaming pinball, I like playing random tables when I'm not doing tournaments. It just, you never know what you're gonna get. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. You know that kind of thing. Um. I guess, uh, in case you ask, uh, Fantasy Strike, mechanically, it's still one of my favorite games, but the whole, the whole aesthetic, yeah, it, yeah, I, you can't, uh, oh, how can I explain it? That, that, uh, yeah, yeah, Babs, thanks for breaking that up, too, um, I, act, I took a look at some of my... Uh, now, I'm not a slave to YouTube metrics or anything like that, but one thing I did notice, um, fighting games are kind of in the middle. I guess Fantasy Strike's probably the lone outlier. All the rest of the fighting games i played over the years, few people show up for. And the few that do, don't stick around long. Probably because I'm not playing people like Justin Wong, or, you know, I'm not playing any high visibility games so it just whereas um I checked out pinball and it's it's been this way pretty much ever since I started streaming it uh, more people uh, more people come by and check out pinball than, than they do anything else I play and they also stick around longer too I think like average view times like 15 minutes. This is pretty much unheard of in any other uh, any other game I play. Again, except maybe uh, maybe Fantasy Strike. But even that, I think I've yet to check the metric on that. But I'm hell. That's how you and I met, Jay. I think it was on Fantasy Strike. You said you you know what went on on those days. But I I think it was all. That's what I was wanting to say about that. It's not a... Fantasy Strike's not a super popular game. But it does have a community that doesn't live on Discord. Like, they actually... They actually, you know, they actually go on the game. They actually do check out streamers and stuff. MMOs kind of falls in that category. Kind of falls in the bad category few people, if any, uh, check out MMOs, and and if the ones that do, don't stick around long. I mean, hell, I think uh, I could probably dig it up, or I'd probably have to go dig it up, but I know when I was streaming Final Fantasy XIV, when I first started, there have been days where literally nobody, no one, shows up. Well, yeah, um, Twitch stats. Probably should have done this sooner since wasn't expecting to be talking this long, but yeah. Yeah, the silence is going to kind of drive me nuts here, but... But yeah, uh, there have been days where no one shows up. Like, I look at my Twitch stats. Zero, 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 zero. Like, all zeros, like, no one. But uh, other MMOs I've streamed, more or less the same thing. But again, I think pinball is the one exception where, you know, lots of people show up. And the ones that do, they actually stick around. Um, sometimes with streaming Gems of War, you get, I get lucky. Um, you know, a fair amount of people show up, but average view time, one minute.
And then again, it's um, it's kind of like what Babs said too. It's just, you know, despite you know, despite getting really frustrating at times, I'm actually finding uh, pinball to be more fun and therapeutic than most other games, Gems of War included. So it's pinball is frustrating, but RNG is even more frustrating. So again, there have been times when um, I'll stream Gems of War, or or even play it. Sometimes I have to sit here and watch as uh, as I slowly get my ass kicked by my opponent from something I had no control over. You know, just some bad gem drops, or you know, for uh, uh, some some guy I got on my team that creates gems. I got to sit here and watch that the gems that are created, nothing happens, and I've just basically handed the whole the whole board to my opponent, so, and I gotta basically watch an abject horror as he kicks my ass. Nothing I could've done, you know, so, so again, with, uh, pinball, and, um, I guess, uh, fighting games as well, it's, it's all on me. So, more accountability there. But, but otherwise, thanks for bringing that up, Jay. Some I had rattling around in my head for a long time. Yeah, I gotta I gotta set my webcam back. Before, uh, before I forget to do it later. Yep. But I don't. But yeah, um, Babs and anybody else that's on. Anybody else that's on. I've been streaming pinball for probably about. About seven, all about seven or eight years, almost when I first when I first started streaming. But uh, it's it's always been this way. Again, more people check out my pinball streams than they do anything else I stream. And and uh, something I learned recently, they also stick around longer too. You know, they're not, they don't just come and go. And then for a while there, especially when I first started streaming pinball, um, I was uh, basically doing this despite me getting all pissed off and frustrated. And I got to where if I was, for the rare time I actually did stream pinball, it was only going to be like once a week just to keep that frustration level down. And then I got to where uh, I wouldn't even stream it at all. And just, I would record like, once a week, I would record like a, a 15, 30 minute short pinball session. Again, just to keep the stress level down. But this is, this is where my head was at back then. So, things change, things change over the years, and now... Now it's getting to where I would rather stream pinball than um than my usual uh my usual stuff um RPGs. Actually, I'm gonna type down my top five here real quick. Yeah, and this is one problem that FX3 has that I have no control over. Um, whenever I leave, whenever I leave uh leave the game, the audio shuts off. Yeah, it's really awkward. So, my number one favorite. Number two. Technically, it's not a video game, but for me, close enough.
So that's my top five right there. But uh, once again, I'm at a point where um, I'm all idled out on the idle games. It just, I'm at a point now where I just don't care to do idle games anymore. Tower Defense. Um, I used to stream uh, Bloons Tower Defense 6, but there's uh, too many hackers on there. Too many people using hack programs. Um, as far as the uh, streams themselves, they're almost as popular as my uh, pinball ones. Because I do, uh, but yeah, I do, I stream Bloons Tower Defense and uh, I get a whole bunch of people on. And a whole bunch of those people, hey, you want to play? Like, yeah, sure. Uh, but back there, there's also the issue of uh, if I'm playing with another player online and if I'm streaming it, it uh, clogs up my stream big time. Not to mention, uh, potentially, the guy I'm running with might be using a hack program, which, uh, no. And then um, one time on there, my identity got stolen. Not not severely, but he, um, this guy took a picture of me, of my webcam, used it as a, I think he probably created his own account and he started uh, harassing other people with that account. I even got a message or two saying that that's what they're doing. So luckily they weren't fooled by it. So, so yeah, no more stream out of that game. And then, um, and then fighting games, uh, number five. So, but again, fighting games are with, um, you probably never heard of it, but Fantasy Strike. It was one of the first games, or one of the first fighting games that I started playing, like, probably, I want to say seven, eight years ago. It was where, uh, me and Jay Notlaps, where we first met. So, Jay's another person that him and I, we go back a while. Yeah, but like I said, like I said earlier, these days, I only really care to stream pinball now. That, but again, that that could that could change over time too. Yeah, I used to play uh, Killer Instinct fairly often. Um, I used to play the original one, too, back in the 90s. And um, I also played the uh, I played the uh, recent one for a while. But um, that game there, it uh, it often crashes on my computer. So, yep. Yeah. 
thought I was gonna go all the way around. short one. I won't go all the way around. Right, let's restart that shit. That sucks. That's a table bug. There's a table issue. It should be going all it should be looping all the way around. That uh right orbit over there. Yeah, there it goes. God, she's pretty warm right now. And it goes out anyway. Best of all, the timer stops.
Yeah, probably gonna be my last table here, too. the ball. Nope. Might have dicked it. Whoop. Bobbling the ball. Nothing I can do there. And backhand it. Come on. Right by me. Score boost. Just barely. to think that I beat my previous score. No. Guess my best just wasn't good enough. So, I'll tell you what. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and, um... Conclude the FX3 part of the stream right here. Just gonna do it early. Plus, I gotta get my uh, cottage cheese in the fridge before it uh, gets too spoiled. It's been sitting out a while. And 
I guess since we were uh, pretty balls deep on the subject of pinball, I'm gonna. Eighty degrees in here, so we're gonna have to get the AC going. This one. So, like I said, uh, since we're talking pretty heavily on the subject of pinball, I'll just go ahead and throw a pinball video on. Uh, what he talks about on here is just the uh, the innards of a pinball machine, how it all works mechanically and all that. But uh, this, I've watched part of this before. It kind of, it feels like kind of a, kind of a try to stay awake challenge. But it, it can... It can appear pretty boring, even for me, so... Welcome to the Theater of Magic! I love pinball. But the anyway, sights, the sights, I'll be back. The physical nature of the actual stuff happening in front of you, and not just on a video screen, have long appealed to me. In fact, for as long as I can remember. Of course, a big draw to me is that these machines are, well, machines, and wondrous machines at that. A pinball machine is a fascinating tribute to humanity. Artists, musicians, game designers, and even voice actors work alongside machinists, fabricators, craftspeople, and engineers to manufacture these elaborate contraptions made purely for our amusement. Well, and to gobble up our quarters. With so much going on inside one of these, even just sitting idle, you might have wondered how they work. Luckily, somebody gave me the keys to this machine so we can look inside. It's, it's a computer. There's a computer in here. It keeps track of where the ball is, shows you your score on this display, plays music and sound effects through speakers, and lights up all the various light bulbs when they need to be lit. How very modern. But pinball goes back much further than this. And not even 20 years prior to this machine leaving the factory, pinball machines didn't feature any integrated circuits of any kind. This is Aztec by Williams. Built in 1976, this machine hails from the tail end of the electromechanical era. It wouldn't be long before manufacturers started tinkering with electronic controls. In fact, 10 copies of this very game were built as prototypes for the Williams System 2 microprocessor unit. This one, though, well, it's a little more old school. And today, I'm going to show you what makes it tick. Seriously, why is it tick? To find out, we'll have to look inside. This time, it opens from the back, and once you remove this panel, you won't see anything that looks like a computer. In fact, you'll find an unholy mess of wires linking quite the assortments of oddball assemblies together. And this isn't even the half of it. Inside the main cabinet under the playfield, there's even more. We get in there by opening the coin door, pulling this lever which releases the lockdown bar, that's this large metal piece at the front edge of the cabinet, then, once we remove the lockdown bar by lifting up on it, we can slide the glass out, and the playfield will simply lift right up. There's even a handy prop rod. 
Now that we're in, we see even more wires and even more stuff. And that's not even the whole of it. Some of the control mechanisms are attached to the underside of the playfield. Each and every one of these devices is critical for the function and logic of this game. While this is nowhere near as complex as Theater of Magic, there's still a lot going on. There's a full-on rule set and series of goals in this game. Different targets light the letters A, Z, T, E, and C. Light them all up, and there's a chance for an extra ball. There's a bonus added for hitting certain targets, which is awarded at the end of each ball. And if you hit the right targets, you can double the bonus value. There's more too. If you complete Aztec and build a bonus ladder up to 50,000 points, that lights a special, which awards a free game. And which out lane is lit will flip back and forth as you hit other targets. You can also win replays based on your score, and that's configurable. Some of the rules can even be changed. Winning a special can award an extra ball instead of a replay, and there are even three difficulty settings which change how many targets need to be hit before other opportunities are awarded. But aside from rules and features, the machine also needs to keep track of which ball is in play, and thus how far you are along the game. Oh, and by the way, you can choose whether you want three balls per game or five. It has to end the game when it's over and disable the playfield, and when a new one is started, it needs to reset the scores to zero. Plus, up to four people can play this game. It's fun to compete. So it needs to keep track of which player is up and only change that player's score when it's their turn. Somehow, that's all being accomplished with our usual have this some, uh, rat's nest of wires and stuff. And some strawberries. How? Why, it's easy. Just look at the schematic. I'm sure you can figure it out. Yeah. I'm kidding, of course. And even if you studied this for hours, it's not going to make any sense unless you understand what these parts are doing and how yeah, they work together. Yeah, you. I think you pretty so, much have to have a at watching, least a degree in electrical engineering just to what these parts figure this out and how they work together. We'll start with the basics and work our way up. Whoa! And we're going to go way back up. to basics with a bit of history, but just a bit, I promise. Yeah, this video is way out of sync. I just now noticed that. Yeah, and this, uh, this video came out about a year ago. Unless you understand so what let me try parts are doing and how... I know sometimes I have to do this on Twitch. Because when, uh, when I'm doing my post-production stuff on my uh, stream videos, sometimes I'll come out, sometimes my audio will come out way out of sync. Um, yeah, maybe if I refreshed it. Work together. So, since you're all watching, I suppose it's my job to explain what these parts are doing and how they work together. We'll start with the basics and work Okay, there we go. And we're going to go way back to basics with a bit of history. But just a bit, I promise. Pinball is called pinball because in the earliest days, it was a simple game of balls and pins. An evolution of the French game Bagatelle, early games were very simple. Marbles rolled down a board set Yeah, this is something else I find kind of annoying. Face. Those pins would create obstacles that deflected the motion of the rolling balls and would often form goals worth points. Games like this were made going back to the 18th century. Yeah, he's got some old relics. Obscure toys for the wealthy for many years. But yeah, he um uh, then sometime around I got to pause this real quick. He's one of those that um he names his sources like where he gets all of his footage and stuff. But yeah, that gets annoying after a while. Every single piece of footage, it's got that watermark shit on the lower left on the lower left corner, and I'm pretty sure most people don't give a shit. They just want to see the video, not where I got the footage for. Um, either that or either that or it's a green screen, like it's uh, CGI'd in folks devise ways to automate the game and turn it into a machine, albeit a very simple one. 
David Gottlieb designed Baffle Ball in 1931, which is widely regarded as the first commercially successful pinball game. I don't have one to show you, but I do have Microsoft Pinball Arcade. Baffle Ball was a simple baseball-themed, I guess, marble game with the twist of being coin-operated. When the coin slide was pushed in, trap doors in the goals would open, allowing the balls to fall down into the machine and collect at the ball shooter. Then the player had their fun. These early games were purely mechanical, featured manual scoring, were meant to go atop a table or other such surface, and started showing up in bars and parlors all across the country. And plenty of gambling based on your score occurred too, but that's a story for a different time. Yep. Baffle Ball was so successful... It's where Planko on the Price is Right came from. Games, such as Ballyhoo, which, by the way, was so successful that the company that produced it would rename itself Bally. With a variety of games for players to choose from, companies making pinball machines scrambled to add new features in order to make theirs stand out. Features like bumpers, electric lights, automatic scoring, and eventually movable bumpers in the player's control. It was none other than D. Gottlieb and Company that introduced electromechanical flippers in 1947's Humpty Dumpty. While the arrangements of the flippers on the playfield is certainly... I think I might have a... ...by modern tastes, this machine set... I either have a PS2 or a PS4 game. And 29 years later... It, uh, it has these uh, really old-fashioned uh, pinball tables on them. I can't remember the name of it, though. ...the one I'm standing behind and that this video is principally about. That one. First, let's look at what the player sees. The playfield is still just a wooden board with things attached to it that a ball rolls around on. But now a variety of targets, obstacles, bumpers, plenty of lights, and let's not forget flippers, make the game fast-paced, visually interesting, and addictive. As with most pinball machines, oh. the playfield is slightly off-center as the right-hand side of the machine is taken up by the shooter lane. That sends the ball up to the top of the playfield as okay. a player operated plunger. Yeah, we'll go ahead and call it good there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start transitioning over to Pinball Arcade. Here we go. All steers report to the steers run. I guess you can backhand it.
<laughs> right by me. What did he say? Ski again. That's what I'm aiming for. literally went right through the flipper. No. Oh, I guess that'll work too. Yo, oh, what the fuck are you doing? Little laps of minded there, buddy. Goes on that snow, buddy. Oh, it's hot dog. I'm on a control. Good snow plowing. Great job. 
Ball lock for Joe. Muggles on that snow bunny. Go for it. Great job. Awesome job, dude. Fucked it up. I'm out of control. Yeah. Somebody hold my hand while I go down the bunny hill. What I was trying to say earlier, uh, Baba, um, I don't really have that much of a score. It's it's great to get it, but like I said, I didn't really have much of a score to begin with. Come on, buggy initials. Yeah, I think my top score. That. Oh wow, I took third. I thought my score was a lot. I thought my score was a lot higher than that. I thought it was like 1.5 or 2 billion or something like that. Well, good way to start. It's a great day to go hunting. All right, for this one here. I have to turn the uh, external volume down. So you're probably probably not gonna hear me very well. Get ready for Big Buck Hunter Pro. Today we'll be hunting for moose. So, yeah, why just look around now? It ain't gonna last very long.
Norman. He's the beauty. There's three. Nice shot. I think you have a clear shot. Oh, damn. Actually got this one, huh? Yep. Keep it there. You're trying to get a quick buck. Well, looks like you ain't gonna be saying very much of it. Apparently not nails to lay it. Here he comes. That's four. All right. I almost ball three, so I didn't last long. Yeah. The in-game audio on that is super loud. I had to turn the external volume down. Because you can't do it in the game, it doesn't work for some reason. Make it so. Make it so. Welcome to the Enterprise. Yeah, that center hole is kind of mandatory. You are without honor. Bonjour, mon capitaine. Q, what are you doing here? Let's play a little game. Q, we don't have time for your game. Oh, sure, I get in there now. The shot ain't lit. Lamp dick. Get the extra ball. Oh, no, that got a dumb there. Kickback is ready. Evacuate 
Still need to hit the center hole, I believe. Just taking the points. I do them all anyway, so. Sensors are picking up a distortion in the space time continuum. We're going back in time. We've all gone back in time. No, it just hit me. I've uh, I've gotten all the stones so far. Here we go again. Again, just taking the points. What? Yep. Shoot again. Whoop. Hold on tight. You could get rough. I got jumpy. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Really? So sensors are picking what is our exact location? Cruising at what factor two? What factor three? Readings indicate lock is lit, sir. What factor four? Get the extra ball. Thank you. Come on, please. Must go. 
and a ball drain immediately afterwards. Shoot again. Back coordinates for the Alpha Quadrant. Oh, looks like I won't be getting any at all. Yeah, none. Time to Starfleet. We have engaged the ball. Battle stations. Phases of ready. Jackpot. Phases of ready. Oh. Now there goes one. That's fine. And, um. So, yeah, I have done good on this table before. A hole in one. Kind of bird on this table. This just ain't gonna be your day. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, I do. All right. Hey, you got your eyes open or what? Okay, well, thanks for dropping by, man. Yeah, see you next time, buddy. I'm gonna let the time run out on this. Hey, you got your eyes open or what? Looks nope. like you need Blind some as a bat. Help. Look out for the alcohol.
Oh, that didn't last long. Gotta love having a multi-ball that ends as quickly as it begins. Damn, well, I almost have a uh, gopher spilled. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you think they all go for my You can't find me. Na 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 na. You can't find me. <laughs> 30, 30 million. I do. For the right ramp, but ain't happening. That's, that's kind of a mandatory shot. Okay. Like I said, I wasn't able to make that right ramp. Not the not the far right one, but the one to the left of it. It was flashing white. That's a mandatory shot you have to make. If you can't make it. There's really not much point in uh, playing the table then. Bride of Pinbot's kind of like that as well. Join the circus. Absolutely shit at pinball. Show off. Kill 
Big fat shot on the right there. Oh, I forgot about that. So, that mini loop over there. You don't, you don't want to go from right to left. Otherwise, the ball can go straight down the middle. You want to go from left to right, not the other way. All day. Just like Bride of Pinbot, this table is pretty much all about the right ramp. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of those you want to end you want to end the ball by tilting it. Especially especially if you weren't doing shit on the ball anyway, so. sit and wait for absolutely nothing. Something else too, if that right ramp is no longer lit, you're have a major problem on this table because in order to relight it, you have to hit those uh, green targets on the far right and you don't want to have to specifically aim for those. The only way you want to hit those uh, Green targets is on accident. Ride the hurricane. 
No. Fuck. Just sit and wait for jack shit. Duh. That's rare. So, no, I, depending on how much I get out of this. Yeah, <laughs> get out of there. Uh, didn't get deadly squad out of it. During clown time, you you have to hit the major shots like the ramps. Nothing else counts. So if I was to tilt here, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I don't I'd only be missing out like a mill, mill and a half. And the ball drains immediately after. Lamp dick. Floppy pluck. Floppy fucking flippers. That's what I was trying to say. I am tongue twister. I'm sure she does. Like I said, that's why I hate making that shot. I like sitting around for absolutely nothing. So for multi-ball, keep aiming for the right ramp. input lag. Oh, 
fucked it up. Ah, fucked it up. Palace lit. Uh, now I do have to make the center shot. If I can get it in there soon, it should be 3x. Get up. There we go. Got it. Should be 15 mil. Or 27. It should. locks take down the uh the pink targets on the left the pink drop targets what kind of throw is that she probably does so nope trying to catch the ball That was a twitch. Twitched it. Oh. Palace letter for Joe. Take your best shot. This music's getting annoying too. Uh, 
Lamp dick. No. The high score is mine. say that's a sound bug. Come on, ugly. Take your best shot. time. Lamp dick. This way to the good like that. the wrong way on that. That ain't my input.
Oh, trying to catch them all. There we go. Lag. I gotta look at something real quick. I gotta check my uh, task manager. Yeah, it seems it got away. Yeah, I had a, I had a pro, I had a process on my computer. I can't remember what it was, but it was all, it was hogging a bunch of my resources, so I had to shut it down. And the back's starting to hurt, so. do shit on this table either. One of the worst design tables here. I want to look at something too. Please tell me how Steve Ritchie didn't design this. No. Apparently he did. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, Mark Ritchie. Steve Ritchie's the uh, legendary one. Here. Um, let me go over here real quick. Bright light. Yeah, Steve Ritchie's a legendary one. Um, Mark Ritchie is, uh, is his brother. Okay, so... Yeah. Well, say, yeah, I couldn't see, uh... I couldn't see Steve Ritchie making this table. He actually knows how to design them. Multi-ball, that don't happen often. No matter how hard I try, That's all it's gonna get. 
Just that one multi ball. Wait, no, that's ball two. That's ball two. Wild card. So yeah, on this table, as you can kind of, as you can kind of see, you want to aim for the left loop. The first doing that the first time um, upgrades the spinner. Doing it a second time doubles your end of ball bonus, and hey, I got lucky there. Don't really want to aim for the bottom two holes, like here, here, and here, because sometimes the eject the the saucer will shoot the ball straight down the middle. So. still goes out anyway.
Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Enough. Still not enough. Duh. looking right now uh, probably gonna be my last table here goes out anyway. But for Gorgar, um, mostly it's um, take down the drop targets, but you have to take down both banks evenly. You're trying to spell Gorgar is what you're trying to do. Gorgar three times the left hole will be uh, lit for extra ball but the way I'm shooting right now I don't see it happening Ball is lit. <sighs> yeah, shot's lit. Not gonna hit it seems. it's worth whenever you take down a bank of drop targets it also upgrades one of the bumpers as well It's over now.
But uh, I do want to look at something else in here too. Okay. You have to hit all four of them. But you have to hit all four of them. You can't just smack one of them over and over and it'll build up stacks. Okay, that's what I thought too. Doing the end lanes does the same thing. Like I said, one, two, three, and four, you have to make all four of them. Kind of the way the um, the Gorgar drop targets work. You can't just smack one bank at a time. Or you can't smack just one bank. You have to hit both of them. I'm also guessing you can only have one extra ball per ball. Now again, I, I'm also thinking maybe you may have to spell Gorgar. Again, you have to hit both of those uh, drop targets or both banks of drop targets to upgrade a bumper. No, it just has to be Gar. All right. And, uh, I don't even know what you have to do to light the spinner. It seems seemingly random. Okay. Because it also shuts off, too. So I'm guessing when you get the uh, bonus to 20,000, it shuts off. Okay, that's what I was guessing. Spinner lamp will turn off. Once again, I want to look at something else. I wanted, yeah, I was about, I was about to say, I've been playing, I've been playing Gorgar for about seven or so years. I like to think that I'd gotten all the achievements by now. I got time for all one more. Quit talking and start talking. Okay, so but before I continue, I've got to get my strawberries back in the fridge because they're getting kind of warm right now.
probably gonna be shutting, definitely gonna be shutting down pretty quick though. Lower back, uh, right knee's kind of sore. can't transfer the ball from one flipper to another. The bottom of the slingshot is in front of the base of the flipper, so, yeah. One ball. That ain't gonna happen because I fucked it up. Sink the seven ball. Side pocket. Seven ball. Make the eight ball. Nice shot. Shoot for the left. Trying to aim for that passageway. If you can see the green light towards the upper right, that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, ball two. That's fine, that's fine. It just ends the ball quicker. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. A little earlier than what I like, but the old saying goes, shit happens. Lower back, like I said, lower back's hurting right now, uh, as well as my right knee. So I gotta, I gotta get up and get up and move around. Plus, overall, this session kind of below average. So just, yeah. Figured I might as well just quit while I'm ahead. Otherwise, uh, thanks for dropping in and hanging out with me, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, I should be on again tonight. My default time is 9 p.m., and that is U.S. Central Time. Until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Hopefully under better circumstances.